This is Phil Friedman, the voice of PFO. We are so blessed to have such wonderful fishing off the coast of Southern California. But with great fishing comes great responsibility. And each and every one of us can contribute to better fishing in our future for our children and their children. So the question looms, what to do with decommissioned oil rig? So there's a, a massive amount of data that have been gathered over the last 20 years looking at how important these few platforms are that are found off Southern California coast. And it's shown that these things are unbelievably productive. In fact, they may actually be one of the most productive environments in the ocean, the entire ocean. They're more productive than a coral reef. So the new research that's being done has shown that a lot of animals recruit to these habitats. It's an important habitat for them in terms of food. It offers them protection. And more importantly, there's only 27 of them off California coast. So while there are not very many compared to say the Gulf of Mexico, these things hold very important fisheries fish as well. So many species of rockfish, we've got uh, boccaccio, a lot of species that were in trouble now use these areas as, as refuges and their numbers are increasing. So, you know, the great thing about offshore oil platforms, especially the ones in Southern California, is they're teeming with fish. These things basically are like, they've been acting like de facto marine protected areas. It's hard to fish around them. The legality of fishing around them is a bit of an issue, but eventually, if they become reefs, they'll be designed to be fished. Uh, the thing I like about them is that you've got these platforms that just hold lots and lots of fish, but it's actually hard getting them off the structures. It takes a really talented fisher to get them off. So the great thing is, is it, it, it protects populations in that way, but it provides fishing opportunities. Chris, we know fishermen are going to be excited about this, but how about the public at large? Should they be behind this? Should they be excited about it? Well, I think the public should be excited because, you know, these things are sitting offshore. People see them out there all the time, and they think, well, they're for drilling for oil. Well, that oil's gone. They're, they're not pumping anymore. So the question is, what do we do with these things? Well, when, when the public hears that they be fried, sorry. When the public hears that these things provide homes for tens of millions of marine animals, then they look at them differently. When they start to understand that these things are high-rise buildings for marine animals that live out in this, this part of the shelf, then I think people look at them differently. They start seeing them as important. So I think um, once somebody sees what lives around these platforms, it completely changes their idea about them. If they were not to convert the rigs to reefs, would you consider that just a real shame? I mean, that would be such a waste, wouldn't it? Well, I, I mean, th these things have been in place for 40 years. I mean, we're talking about animals that live, in some cases, well up to 100 years, have been using these platforms as their home. So imagine just suddenly taking all that away. In addition, when you take these platforms out, it does a lot of destruction because you've got to drop explosives down the legs and that kills a lot of animals. So we're not just talking about taking away somebody's home, we're talking about killing a lot of animals that live around these platforms in the process of taking them out. So do we really need to do that or can we leave them in as artificial reefs? Hey Tom, rigs to reefs, that bill has passed, but there is still a need to be behind the whole concept, isn't there? That's what this is all about. Philip, this is really important, especially right now, because there may be the opportunity to get these things uh, decommissioned as artificial reefs in, in the future. And we just want to make sure that people don't forget about how valuable a habitat they are. They really offer great homes for fish and also sources of food supply. So it's really important that we have a rigs to reef policy in place. And people can come by the PFO booth at the Fred Hall Show both in Long Beach and down in San Diego at the Del Mar Show and they can sign a letter of support and there's all kinds of freebies that go with it daily free fishing trips and an accurate reel at the end of the show i know dr lowe's already going to sign up now when he heard about that accurate reel but what do you think i mean it's important for people to come by and be behind this 
Philip, it's really good for conservation, it's really good for fishermen. And how often do you get a chance of winning a fishing trip once a day and on top of that a great accurate reel just for doing the right thing? And the PFO, PFO booth at the Hall Show is the place to do it. So hey, sign up and it's really not even signing up, just put your name in. Hey, I support this concept and we're behind the idea of good strong habitat and then that good strong habitat turns out great fish. The Sport Fishing Conservancy doing their thing, doing a lot of great things in the community. Thanks again, Tom. Hey, you bet. And you know, we're happy we, we ran the bill in the first place and we're looking to follow up on it right now.